All right, all right, all right, my babies. It is Mira, it is Shira, it is Vera, it is Scorpion Red Several, and I am back at it again one time for the one time for my Sagittarius. Why are you so mysterious, baby? Let me know what the heck is going on with you, boo boo. We are in here to find out what the energies are surrounding you guys for October 2020. I hope you guys have been enjoying, you know, this festive fall season I, I hope you guys have been like going outside and seeing the change of the the leaves and the weather y'all bringing y'all little windbreakers out and stuff like that switching it up bringing the boots with the fur trying to be her you know what i'm saying just doing your thing so i hope you guys are just experiencing a lot of wealth and blessings during this seasonal change in your life so uh shout out to all my og shout out to all my newbies shout out to every last one of you guys who has clicked this video if you guys would like to send me some love for my birthday because you know my birthday is coming up on Sunday. It's October the 25th, baby. So if you guys want to send me some love, go ahead and check out the About tab on my YouTube page. If you guys want to book a personal and private reading, go ahead and check that About tab out or the description in my on this video. Um, I do my video readings on Instagram. If you do not have Instagram so we can chat through the messenger and do the Instagram live video reading, I normally do my readings on Google Hangouts only thing we need to um, exchange with each other is our email. My email is scorpionrez at gmail.com. So in the meantime, in between time, just go ahead and shoot me an email if you don't have Instagram. And I hope you get all set up on Google Hangouts so we can do your reading, okay? So um, I just want to give you guys just thanks in advance because you guys showed me a lot of love for my birthday last year. So I'm just giving thanks in advance for all of the love and well wishes this year for my birthday. So as you know, we're always going to give thanks. Um, whoever is watching, if you want to put a time stamp for when the reading starts, let's get into the prayer. Father God, thank you so much for bringing us here for the sign of Sagittarius. Father God, we feel elevated. We feel uplifted. We feel blessed. We feel successful. Ain't no stress on our back. Ain't no world on our shoulders, Father God. Listen, <laughs> we just feel festive and free. Uh, the holiday season is coming. We've been trapped in the house for a long time, but we've been able to maintain and survive and have a healthy standard of living in life um we've been more creative we've been more family oriented like you know i really do feel like sagittarius needed this change to kind of get their spark generated in a different area of like really family wellness and health and abundance within the home sector so father god we thank you for the family that's surrounding us right now um the holidays is not going to be anything less than a blessing. Uh, we just can't wait for everything to just come together and us to just vibe in a collective unit amongst family and friend and loved ones. Um, I really do feel like a just a need and just a want for just like family right now and like real love, like real genuine love something you ain't gotta ask for and that's the only thing we surrounding ourselves around now so father please give us guidance for the sign of sagittarius again for october 2020 2000 2020 show me the money season give us blessings and thank you again for all the blessings in the past present and future amen all right let's get into it y'all was about to start chat i was about to go into like a deep channel i was like hold on don't don't <laughs> chill so let's see. As y'all know, I will be facing the cards down unless they want to pop up. We're going to see what type of energy we got going on for Sagittarius. Why, why is you so mysterious, baby? Y'all just said y'all want everything, you want things back to the way that they used to be. Y'all just said it was like a sudden change. And it's like y'all want something back the way things used to be. Um, I'm not sure if y'all talking about COVID. It has to do something with family structure though. Because that's all I was seeing is like family structure. And when I was praying... Like, I just, like, started thinking in, like, a deep calm. It was just, like, I don't know if you guys, like, I don't know if you guys were meditating or 
were just meditating or while I was praying, if you guys were in like a deep meditation, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe you guys have just been meditating a lot and just trying to find some type of inner peace and calmness. I was like... I'm missing something. And you guys forgive me because I did take about like a week break in between when I did my last reading. So I'm trying to remember my spread, but my spread is not. <laughs> Let me forget. My table will not let me get trust me. I don't know exactly what I'm supposed to be doing. So it's like you guys have been going through like a repeated cycle with someone in your life. And that's why I feel like it might have been a separation. To create some type of peace and calm for you guys to kind of meditate and try to sort certain things out for your own. To kind of go inside. That's why I'm just feeling like, like, I feel like you needed a reset button on your life a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Because I kind of feel like certain things were kind of stressful and that's why the need for family like your family structure to be around you right now is so important it's like you needing to reset and be around people that love you and you don't have to ask for anything you don't have to worry it's just like you know what i'm saying actually allowing people to come around and take care of you and to be around warmth and wealth I just said I just want to be successful. It's like I just want to be so oh. Oh, okay, now I'm getting um just gotta make it. Uh-huh. Just gotta make it. Mm-mm. Oh, now they switching up the damn song. I can give you the world, baby girl. You just gotta be worth it. Uh-uh-uh. So it's like that just gotta make it, uh-huh, just gotta make it. I was trying to remember the words to just gotta make it and then I, I would give you the world, baby girl, you gotta be worth it. So I want y'all to go listen to those songs. Alright, last deck, you guys. I know that this is taking a minute, but y'all gotta listen. Y'all gotta chill out. Let me do what I do, baby. Y'all already know Miss Alice gonna come through and wreck shop. I don't know. It's this Alice in Wonderland that is very, very feisty, you guys. So, uh, Miss Alice in your wonderful land. So, let's get into. I'm going to put the timestamp now. Let's flip it over. Let's see what the center energy is right here. So, we got I honor my body's needs. I honor my body's needs. So you guys, again, are listening to your body. That's why I felt like that deep, sinking, meditative thing. It's like, I feel like you guys need peace, quiet, so that you can kind of listen to your inner self, your inner wants, your inner needs. Like, even listening to your anxieties, like, that is your body talking to you. Like, if you're around somebody, a person, place situation a thing and you're starting to have anxiety run up through your ass like you know how you having an anxiety a panic attack you know what i'm saying um just being around negative energy just being around a situation that doesn't benefit you anytime that you feel your ego stepping into play your anxiety stepping into play that is your body giving you a warning that something around you isn't healthy you need to remove yourself around it you need to honor yourself by listening to your body's needs 
when you wake up in the morning stop getting up in the morning just getting to work and not eating and stuff like that you fill your stomach don't fill it up with coffee eat something with some nourishment in it you know what I'm saying so it's not putting stress in because I'm, I'm really getting someone that's like a workaholic and in their work sector in their home sector in their personal sector I feel like y'all might not have been listening to your body in the past but y'all definitely listening to it now and in the future if something don't feel right I'm walking away from it if I wake up in the morning and my body says eat eat and not no bull crap like eat something look eat some eggs with some spinach and like some orange juice and like I don't know you know what I'm saying like eat something healthy feed positive interactions into your body just honoring your body by just knowing what it needs and stop trying to force something that does not fit within your lifestyle no more my body doesn't want that if i'm getting stress anxiety if i'm getting panic attacks if i know i need to take a break point blank period bottom line let's go right down the center you guys let's see we got the six of swords in the reverse so you guys are going back remember i said that you guys were Y'all wanted to go back to the way things used to be. So I feel like you guys are going back. Back home. Back where you know. It's like something that you left for a reason. Um, mentally, like you knew it was time to spread your wings. It was time to release yourself. It was time to do things on your own accord you really didn't want to listen to other people's opinions on how to live your life or um you guys could have had a situation where your life very much so dependent depend on other people so like you could have had because you see that this person is going somewhere so you could have had a vehicle in your in your mom's name or in someone else's name or it could have been in their insurance or something like that and like that could have caused a delay in you going forward where you need to go because you still got an answer to your mom or you still got an answer to your dad or to an ex or someone who has something that you legitimately need for your well-being but it comes by them you understand so um I'm feeling like I don't even know why I felt the need to say that so I feel like if you guys are still codependent on a family member or a friend or something like that where you are trying to go forward but you can't because something is still in their name like you still have to listen to someone else's opinion or you can't think or make a decision on your own without listening to other people's thoughts and advice like you need to get over that because it's going to delay your progress you know what i'm saying like you have to do this on your own because even the six of swords is someone receiving help and upright this is someone receiving help and assistance to to move them from a rocky and a hard you know tumultuous situation you see how the you see how the crows are helping to pull the boat and it looks like she got her bags packed and everything, but she's too much in her thoughts that she's not even paying attention to where it needs to go. It's like she's relying on other elements to get her there because she's too stuck up in her mind or something like that. So with this being said, I don't feel like you're in this energy anymore with relying on people or help. To help pull you away from whatever it was that was troubling you. I don't really feel like you're stuck in your mind. Because if you could say she is not paying a bit of a goddamn attention to where this butt boat is going. Where these animals are leading her. She's stuck in her head thinking about where it was that she just left. And why she had to leave. You know what I'm saying? So uh, she just came out of the five of swords energy. Something where there, there was someone that was trying to defeat her and it possibly did like she probably had to walk away with her tail between her legs like feeling like a, a loser like someone defeated me someone manipulated me someone conned me out of something or you know like the five of swords isn't a good energy you know what i'm saying so it's like you could have walked away from something mentally knowing it will hurt me more 
the longer I stay here. So it's better for me to just cut my losses. This is a lose-lose situation. I need to honor my body. I need to honor my body. But with this being in the reverse, I really do feel like those crows, the crows are messengers of secrets, of hidden information. I want to say... You really do need to really, if you're going to go back home, go back home. But don't go back home feeling like you need someone to help you. It's, it's something about you need to shed away feeling like you need help. Like you're not a damsel in distress at all. Like pay attention to where you're going because like this is like delays and blockages because you're too reliant on others instead of being reliant on yourself. Take your car insurance out of their name. Take the title or whatever. Like, give it back to them. Find your own way to get there or something like that. Because it's like, this is someone that has been so reliant on their help or assistance of their parent or for other people. It's like, they feel like they can't do it by themselves. You know what I'm saying? That's why shit ain't going nowhere. And it's like, your body needs you to understand that. Like, you don't need these people to help you you know what i'm saying like you can figure this out on your own you just gotta listen to your you gotta listen to what your body and your mind is telling you especially if there's some stagnation where you're trying to go ahead it's probably because you're relying on other motherfuckers and you're not paying attention to yourself and you two in your head focus about other shit you know what i'm saying and you have to pay attention what is this the storm angel collision of beliefs styles attitudes and energies remember i'm trying to tell you this is this is someone that is reliant on someone else to get to where they're going. But y'all have a different of lifestyles. Y'all have a collision of beliefs. Like it's causing conflicts. It's y'all are not going anywhere with this constant conflict. So this is like, all right, something happened in my life. I need to go back home and ask my mom to let me borrow her car for a little bit, right? Because I lost my car. But I know good and goddamn well I smoke. My mother don't smoke. I can't drive without smoking. You know what I'm saying? So I know if I ask my mom for this car and I'm going to need to have it for a minute because I need to save some money to get my, you know what I'm saying? So it's like, are you willing to cause a conflict with your mom just to have an easy ride? Because at the end of the day, it's like, I feel like this is a situation that if you would just put your mind to it for real, stop fucking thinking about how you lost your car. Fuck that shit. That's over with. It's done. It's gone, right? It's done. It's gone. I really do feel like if you're going back asking for help, it's going to cause more chaos in your life than the chaos that you've been running from. So I feel like whatever it was that you were running from, your constant need for help may have put you in more of a troublesome state. Like your environment maybe climatic right now like this might be the climax to push you to stop blocking your blessings i feel like someone needs to listen to your body especially like all this storm you need to listen like you're not happy like you're, you're, you're it's a collision of belief like y'all don't think the same y'all don't operate the same so it's like stop asking for help or looking for assistance or feeling like you need assistance from people that don't even have the same mindset as you and you want to use the car for this but they think you need to use the car for this and you don't smoke but they smoke y'all are too it needs to be separate and i feel like the constant need of feeling like well i need to run back home no you need to figure this shit out on your own I, I'm serious because I feel like the thought of going back home or having to go to these people for help, it gives you anxiety. It is the storm angel. It is not good. I feel like wherever you're going is you're going to be stuck there longer than what you expected. It, 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 uh, it's like you want things back to the way that it used to be but it's not supposed to be like that though and you're not supposed to go back you're supposed to go forward mm. what is this the emperor in reverse so again like the, the emperor in reverse is this and this is not what you're looking for baby 
Or this is not the man that you're trying to be, Papa. You get me? The Emperor in the reverse is someone that has a lot of responsibility on his plate. Like, this is supposed to be a family man, but he is not present in the family. He's everywhere else but being at home, taking care of his kids, fixing the cars in the garage, taking out the trash, coaching the football. He ain't doing none of that shit. This person is not responsible. He will leave all the responsibility on the woman while he's out frolicking and doing whatever the fuck he want. He uses other people as an escape goat. And when it comes down for him to actually step up and be the emperor, he'll go run and hide and have other people go fight his battles for him. But when it comes down, uh, down for the time of people to get the reward and the merit, he still wants the respect as the emperor. But your, your army fought your battle. You was hiding. You see what I'm saying? So like... This could be, oh, and, and they just said arrogant. They're just like, this is someone that is arrogant, that really feels like they could take on this responsibility, but it's other people's responsibility to keep it afloat. And you better keep it afloat because I don't want you to make me look bad. Like, I don't know. Like, this is an arrogant little piece of shit ass motherfucker. Like, seriously. Um can be sometimes, I want to say, uh, really over forceful and dominant, but really bitch ass weak too. Like this <laughs> someone that want to put on like a masculine show, but behind closed doors, you a bitch. Like you be whining and crying about shit, but why my life ain't the way, and nah, 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 and just, and I did this for you, and this is and that, and nah, nah, nah. Like, I don't know, bro. Like you, like you, you, that, I don't like that. I don't like that, but in 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 the show front in front of everybody else, yeah, nah, cause yeah, yeah, that's my woman, and these, these are mine, and this, this, and that. But you don't you don't take care of that woman. You really don't take that. The woman bought all them kids' clothes. Like this this man ain't shit. You see what I'm saying? So if this is the person, I'm hoping not, because you should be moving away from that. Like. Not keep going backwards because it's like you feel like you need this person to help. This person ain't going to help you with shit. That's why you ain't going nowhere. That's why it's leading you nowhere. L listen. Listen to me, Tonita. Like, no. What is going on over here? The Nine of Hearts. And this was in the fucking reverse. And I really don't try to read these in the reverse. But this is like someone trying to have a wish granted here. Like, have the complete emotional fulfillment. This is literally like. Oh, hold on. Oh, they just said to me within myself, I only need my own. I like that. Within myself, I only need my own. So with this being in the reverse and this says what a fight we may have for the crown now. So that is competition. That's someone behind your back. Planning, scheming, competing behind the king. So, like, this this is someone trying to be a king behind the king. Ooh. 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 Ooh, ooh, ooh. Who, who trying to be the king behind the king? Look, you see the knight behind the king? Like, oh, well, what? Ooh. Who the fuck is this, Mo? Hey, young, what the fuck y'all got going on? Now y'all just said I got to fight within my own power. So listen. There's a king behind the king. There's a situation here where there's somebody. There's a king behind the king. There's a knight behind the crown. There's a knight behind this king. I feel like this knight of hearts. Gotta be. Has a wish fulfilled. That they are praying for. To be granted because this woman keeps going backwards. This woman keeps going back to this emperor in the reverse. Could possibly be an Aries or a Taurus. Like, this man ain't shit. This man don't help her with shit. Don't provide her with shit. Just bring her a whole bunch of stress and troubles. But she keeps going back to this man. Because she feels like she he's supposed to be responsible and help her with the kids. But he's not. Like, he's not. And like, girlfriend, you know that. Like, you know that. You know that. You know that. So, it's like, this is the king behind the king. 
I feel like this is the she's been praying for this man to get himself together and he just won't and this is someone that needs to honor their body's needs you need the king behind the king because there is someone that's watching this bullshit ass fucking emperor that just want to sport and wear this crown don't even respect the crown and it's like this person and again he said what a fight we may have for the crown now because this woman keeps moving backwards to this emperor and she don't even see the man that's standing right behind him that really wants to earn that crown. And there's someone sitting there with this crown on their head that don't even recognize, don't even recognize, don't even respect. This is not an emperor. This man is praying that she sees him, that she, because I don't know if you guys talk to each other in some type of way, because there is some type of emotional exchange between them two. Because remember, the Six of Swords is normally depicted as a woman and her children in a boat, and there's a man rowing her to safer waters. He's trying to help her. But she keeps going back. Because she thinks that's what's best for her. She thinks that's what's best for her family. No, it's not. Sometimes you got to let people lead their self in their own destruction. Because you've seen this man might have helped her get away. But she got in the boat on her own merit. And carried her ass back there on her own. So if she do, don't fight with her. You understand? Sometimes you got to let people do what they want to do. And this came out in the reverse. So, you know, this, this, the, 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 the king behind the king may realize, like, she keep going back to this person, like, I, 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 uh, what a fight we may have for the crown now. It's just like, what the fuck am I going to do with her, young? Oh, my God. What is this? The Knight of Swords in the reverse in the sea so bitch. You know what? I cannot. <laughs> Woo, honey. Let me take a sip of this coffee, honey. Lord Jesus. Uh oh. No, ma'am, Miss Pam. I do not like green eggs and ham. Okay, now listen. The sea storm. Y'all are most definitely going through some bullshit. And I, it's just like you're sitting there. I don't understand why. I don't feel like this knight of... What is Is this the king of swords? This is the king of swords. You see, it's like you need to... Whoever this is needs to go ahead and just like... Bow down. Like you're old. You're tired. Like you're... It's like outdated thinking or something. And it's like you're not even being truthful. Okay, so... This is like, remember I said the king behind the king. So this is the current king. You see this man is old. He looks weary. He looks tired. He's not as agile as he, he's, he needs to, he needs to retire. This may be the runner up, the son or something or something. It's like, you just need to go ahead and relinquish the crown and give it to me. Someone more fit to run this court because this king may be lying to the people in his court, maybe trying to tell him that he's healthy, that everything is good, that he's lying. You know what I'm saying? He's trying to keep up a front or facade for some reason. And But this night, like this one knows like, it's like you're dying or you're, it's just like, so I don't know why I feel like this man is dying. Or whatever it is that he's trying to hold on to, he's trying to hold on to this crown, but it's like, Fading around him or something is like, I don't even think he believes that he has the strength to fight anymore for this crown. So it's just like, just let it go. You know what I'm saying? Like, the king of swords going to the ace of swords. Like, just be truthful and just recognize for your own, like. This woman needs to stop lying to herself about this emperor. He is not, y'all just heard the bell. 
He is not a fit example to run the court. Everywhere he goes is nothing but chaos and confusion. You have someone younger, more fit. You know, honorable. It's like this, this, look, look. This young king, this young, this young king right here, he's watching this one destroy everything. And he's like, man, just give me the fucking crap. No, nah, I'm just, because what he still want to be the emperor. But you're not an emperor. You are not an emperor. Look, watching this motherfucker trying to portray, like, I, I, don't, I don't know if this one is the one that really be doing all the work while this one is taking all the credit or something like that. But it's just like, he won't give up. And she won't give up. You know what I'm saying? It's like, she's going to keep running back to this fake ass emperor, this, this lying ass king. Like, ugh. I don't know if this reading is more for, because I feel like this reading is someone from the outside looking in. I really do feel like this is some man that's dealing with a Sagittarius woman. And you just need to let her go. Like, I'm sorry. Because... It's like you need to honor your body's needs because it's like you want her, but you're stressing yourself out trying to fight for this crown that she keeps trying to give to someone else that don't really want it. I'm going to tell you don't fight for this. I don't know how close you are to this emperor too. Why am I feeling like these are friends or something? Like what the fuck type of shit? Like oh God. Like these two dudes know each other like they know each other know each other. Like this might be this man right hand man and it's like you ain't going to do right by your girl. You might as well just go ahead and give her to me. Like y'all y'all feel what I'm saying? The fuck yeah. Look the hangman. So it's like again <laughs> like I feel like things are not working out in this situation. It's like someone is being reduced to a small size so you could see something like you know what I'm saying so you could really see the bigger picture it's like do you see her keep going back to this you see this shit okay so it's like if this person continues to hang around you're just going to get burnt in the flame with them you know what I'm saying it's like whoever these people are this man is attached to some woman that is determined to just keep running to damnation i don't know why this woman is just determined she won't fuck her life up that's on her but you don't need to hang around and burn in the fray you see that this man is nothing that she keeps running to like listen the sea storm the calm amidst the chaos the calm amidst it. Listen, it's calm as you're hanging around, but the the chaos is right behind you. It's like God wants you to search that inner man and see how you're feeling. It's in the gut of your stomach. Like something ain't right with this girl. You know what I'm saying? It's like why she so, she might be so beautiful but you keep chasing after someone that's lying to you that's not giving you nothing that like this woman is never going to get the emotional fulfillment out of that false king that she would get out of you but if she wants to keep telling herself that that you can't make her see that but God's going to make you see what you're hung up on do you understand what I'm saying there's some men that's hung up on the wrong woman that is chasing the wrong shit do not allow this woman to pull you down into her climatic because it's, it's hitting the climax point remember i said something about climax something about the climax this is the calm amidst the storm do you see this energy surrounding this woman listen to me run I'm serious. Get away from this woman. Oof, what is this? 
You got the fuck a high priestess in the reverse and bitch and in the four cups. So listen, a high priestess in the reverse, like this woman could be dating you and be dating someone else. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, whoever this woman is. She might be non-committal at this moment and sneaky. I definitely feel like she has her back turned. Like, it's like you may have your back turned on her right now because you don't trust this woman. Um, the high priestess in the reverse is also someone that could be in some type of like. Remember, I said collision of beliefs, attitudes, lifestyles, and energies. Like, this woman could be into some type of witchcraft or like, uh, because when I get the high priestess in the reverse with all of this stuff and like how like she's like a not a she's not a high vibing type of person the high priestess in the reverse could be someone that um like delves in the dark arts or some shit like that you know what I'm saying like she is in a a being of the light and I don't, I don't mean to talk about whoever this is in this way but look at the energy around this person like who the fuck would keep going back to this like look at you and look this is the energy about this person like come on come on come on like this isn't someone that you want to breed and have children with like I, this woman is not being truthful about it ain't about something it's about this emperor like she keep running back to this person and putting you up against this person and got you hung up in this bullshit and it's like she's not even wholeheartedly paying attention to what you're offering to her you know what I'm saying so she's not do you understand what I'm saying like and you may be second guessing your offer that you were giving to her because it's like you see what being hung up on this person is going to bring you you know what I'm saying you see what being hung up on this person is going to bring you and you guys might have your back turned to each other because you feel like this person is sneaky this person is um they said the, the person is not going out for you as much like this person like like the high priestess in reverse, like they're not at home because a high priestess is like a homebody, someone that's at home, like, you know what I'm saying, studying, this, this, and that. Like this person isn't at home, but she ain't with you, you know what I'm saying? It's like something's going on with this individual, you know? And I feel like something is burning you in your gut about this. You need to listen to your body. Like this woman's not offering shit to you because... She's stuck in some shit some, somewhere else. I don't feel like you're going to get happiness here. Look, the three of wands in the reverse. So, I feel like the ship has kind of sailed here a little bit. Like, I feel like this woman might have missed the boat. Um, she might have been standing around waiting to hear what someone else got to say. And could have completely missed the offer with you because... The Three of Wands is like, in the upright, it's like someone waiting for like their ships to come in and, you know, cause, cause, cause look, the ship to come in, you know what I'm saying? Like, this person could have been waiting for her to finally get over whatever this shit that she was mentally hung up on and to arrive to a better destination with them. But this person kept going backwards. You see what I'm saying? So it's like, that ship has fucking sailed. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, whoever, whoever this was that was, because this is, this is right here. This is like the two of wands for me. This is like the two of wands. It's like, this woman has this one over here and this one over here. And I feel like she's probably going back and forth between two people. She's going back and forth between two people. And I want to say you're tired of waiting. I'm not waiting for this. No more. I'm tired of you waiting to make a decision. I'm not a fucking option. I will move the fuck on. You're beautiful. But like, I'm not. It's like I got to start listening to 
what my intuition is saying. Like, you don't want the best of me. You want... Ooh, they just said that this woman wants to take the best of me and give it to him. You see what I'm saying? It's like... This man comes into your life and he honors you in the way that you're supposed to be treated. And he... he when you deal with him, you're all the way down here. He uplifts you all the way up here, right? All the way up here. Well, this one shouldn't even be able to see you, you so up here. But then for some reason, as soon as this person is feeling good, he gets you feeling all good like that, you take all that positive energy and go carry it back over there. It, under the assumption that this person is going to keep you high, high, high uh, uh, vibing like that. And this person don't. This person sucks. This woman drive all of that energy. And she come back over there to you for a refill. And you like, I'm not about to keep filling you the fuck up. What the fuck you think this is, Ex Exxon? You think I'm going to keep gassing you up? It's just so you go ride another nigga around trying to get this. Like, no, 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 no. Fuck no. Nah. I see where she going. And I see exactly where she keep going. And I got to listen to my body. I can't continue. I'm not happy. This nine, look, look. This nine of hearts in the reverse. I can do better on my own. Like, I'm still a knight. I'm still a, you know what I'm saying? I ain't even no knight. I'm the king behind the king for real. But this bitch don't see me as such. But I see me as such. I need to honor my body and stop chasing after someone who ain't chasing after me. If this girl want to keep running into all this drama and chaos, I'm going to go ahead and let that shit burn. You know what I'm saying? God showed me how close I was to getting burnt by this situation. Like, because this girl is not trustworthy. And I really do feel that this is someone being a dark ass energy. Like, this could be a woman that just wake up mad or not happy or you could just talk to her and it's like are you ever happy do you ever have anything to smile for are you ever not putting yourself in dumb ass situations it's like you smart but you not that smart like the high priestess is someone who is very intelligent but you could use all of that intelligence in a negative ass way you understand what i'm saying like your energy ain't shit. This someone who energy ain't shit. For real, for real. What is this? And then you got the nine of goddamn clubs in the reverse. So the nine of clubs in the reverse, again, this is something that ain't working. This is something that ain't working. It's like you could have put... And it's like you could have been tired of going through... So you got two nines, okay? You could have been tired of going through cycles and cycles and cycles trying to... Exp <laughs> you could have been tired... So this is you being diplomatic. Because I only want to put my work in and invest my time in something that is going to provide dividends at the end. If I'm putting in the nine of clubs, I need me an ace of diamonds. Do you feel me? I ain't putting all this goddamn work in for nothing because it seemed like you could have been the one doing everything. You know? You could have been the one doing everything. It says, take some more tea, the March Hare said. I've had nothing yet, so I can't take no more. So you see, you see how he's, you see how Alice is pushing the cup away? So this is like someone wanting you to take more of their bullshit. And it's like, I haven't even taken the first cup yet. So get that shit away from me. Like this, you see, does she look happy about this nine of good? No, 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 no. So this could be a situation like, you know, you went to like a banquet or something and you know like how it's like one of them little fundraisers or some shit and it's like a $500 plate per person. So like you could have paid your $500 to come in there because you work hard, you got money, you good, you stable. Nine of clubs is someone that is extremely stable and successful. Like could be a very high ranked status at their job. Could be like literally like you might be about to start a venture in like entrepreneurship or something that's about to work out for you. Like, for you. Not for nobody else. For you. Like, you're good. You pay $500 to go to this bank with this shit. And when you went in there, like, you could have had the assumption that this foundation and this fundraiser was for helping the needy. Right? But then when you got down there and you sat down at the table with the people that were serving the tea. Number one, you didn't like the smell of the tea. You know, it was too sweet. You kind of like a more like 
a earthier blend or something like that. You don't like all that sweet shit. So they sitting down at the table and told my whole bunch of sweet shit. And it's like, you're like, hold on. I thought this banquet and this fundraiser and I just paid $500 for this plate. Number one, once I find out what was on the menu, I don't even eat that shit. Like, you know what I'm saying? Whatever it is, it's like you don't even like what they're serving and you don't like the conversation that they're serving at the table. Like, you thought that this was for to help the needy. And the only thing they're talking about at this table is to, uh, to keep the rich rich and the poor poor. So they might be trying to offer you something, right? Or want to offer you, or want you to offer their input. And you pushing it away. You're like, I ain't, I ain't never even said I want, uh-uh. What he said? Take some more tea. And y'all know what we say in the hood. What is tea information? Go ahead, take some more tea. The March hair said, I haven't had nothing yet so how can I take any more so I can't take any more so I don't it's like I can't take no more of this tea like it's it's like are y'all saying that to me right now like I don't want no more of this tea Cause I, it's like y'all already knew what was going on like y'all knew what was going on cause there's a major delay and a wish being granted here. You keep going through these cycles. You bring them up just for them to go back down. Expecting you to bring, like, no, 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 no. I feel like someone could have been trying to tell y'all that this wasn't going to work out. Or your body was trying to tell you. Your anxiety and things. And you didn't listen. I feel like you could have kept running back chasing after this woman, too. But it's like, I don't want it no more. Because I feel like you really never had it in the first place. Because, you know what I'm saying? It's like, I never really had you in the first place. So I don't even want no more or whatever this bullshit is, man. Go on ahead, son. Like, stop trying. Remember, I told you, it's like, you not trying to offer nothing to her. And she ain't really was offering nothing to you. So it's like, whatever little bullshit that was, I don't even think I want that shit no more. Like, I just like, I don't, I don't trust this woman. And the more and more I hang around this girl, I feel like I'm getting caught up in the fire. Like, nah, like, I don't even want that shit. Don't even tell me no more about this bitch no more. Like, I feel like y'all want to turn her eating off. Because it's like, we still got some more cards. And you like, man, nah, man. What? Oh. oh, my God, y'all. I'm trying to tell y'all, if y'all don't get this bitch around you, it says the death in the maiden, invasion, boundaries violated, dominating. Y'all, if I read this card to y'all, it's going to freak y'all out, man. It's like death looming around you. This person is a, a succubus, like a vulture. Like this person is doing nothing but draining all of the positive energy out of you. Like this person doesn't even really have an identity right now. Like this person may, if you notice, like every person they date, like, all right. This person may be American, right? But, like, say, two, three years ago, this person was dating an Asian man or an Asian woman or something. Now, all of a sudden, they all about Asian culture. They damn near half ass Belasian now and shit like that. Now, this motherfucker dating a Trinidadian person. Or now, they walking around with a Trinidadian accent, wearing a Trinidadian flag, wearing, eating Trinidadian food. Like, bitch, do you even know who the fuck you are? Like, can you have your own identity and stop trying to suck the life and the happiness in the like pot like it's just like this person this person this person this person and it's like this person could talk to you wrong couldn't like ah uh, I gotta read this to y'all I'm sorry I, I, I'm just gonna read it a little short little bit cause like Y'all have to hear this message because y'all not going to understand, man. Gosh, what in the hell, bro? Slimmy, slimmy, slimmy. It says the message. It says there is a very out of balance relationship between you and another at this time. It may be that you are death taking too much and imposing on another all the while blind as the skeleton to the truth. Or 
It may be that you are the maiden and have no defense against another who is draining you, claiming all the while to love you. You may have been drawn into the drama and colored and entertained by the relationship and all its highs and lows and passions, but you are now discovering that it is tiring, draining, and lacking in respect. It is time to truly assess this relationship and take steps to be safer, more protected, and more respected. Do not attempt to convince death of its problems, okay? Do not try to attempt to express to death its problems, okay? It says, real people will only draw closer, cling harder, and convince that you have a problem, not them. You may fear fears as to what they will do once you separate from them, as they are vindictive and malicious. Freedom is worth the trial of separation. Ask yourself if this relationship a healthy one for me. If the answer is no, then you must take the steps to go. And I done told you. Before this shit even came, I done, I done fucking told you about this shit, young. I'm trying to tell you, man. And I don't even feel like this is, I'm trying to tell y'all, this is, y'all are getting a bird's eye view from this shit. Y'all, I'm, man, y'all, whoever, whoever this is, this is some man dating some woman, man. I don't know if you are the male Sagittarius or if you're, uh, you're the female and I, look, I don't know. Y'all take it how it resonates. And look, don't get offended. I'm just the messenger. Because, especially if you're a Sagittarius woman, if you know this ain't you, this is not your reading. But you can always learn something from somebody else's story. You know what I'm saying? So just because it doesn't resonate with you doesn't mean that it wasn't meant for you to see this message. Because... You may be the Sagittarius female, and this may be your fucking brother that this is talking about. And this might not make sense to you right now, but in the next couple of weeks, you may see your brother, and you may see this type of woman. Like, literally, this whole situation as it's playing out on this table, you may see your brother going through this, you'd be like, uh-uh. Oh, <laughs> no, 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 because I've seen this, no, 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 no. That bitch is fraud, and we ain't about to do her. Listen and honor your body, little brother. So, y'all know the responsibility of tarot. If y'all, again, if y'all not mature enough to understand how tarot works, don't watch it. Do not shoot the messenger because I bust back, nigga. So, listen, you got the Queen of Cups here. You got the Queen of Cups. She's standing there like she the man. You, She's standing there like she the man. So... And oh yes, Miss Queen of Cups, who the fuck is he? So listen, okay, okay. Mmm, 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 mmm. I'm sorry, he is just delicious. I ain't even seen this card before. He is delicious. So listen, I really do feel like this Queen of Cups here, like she is her main concern is her family. Um. Whoever this man is that she's chasing, um, I want to say that she's the dominant masculine in the relationship. I told you he act like a bitch. Like, he acts like the bitch. Like, he does. Like, he's not responsible. Like, he is a simp-ass nigga. Like, for real, for real, for real. And he is a burden on her. This could be a situation where... The Queen of Cups is the one that is the hard-working individual while the King of Cups is in the background like the stay-at-home mother with the kids. Do you understand what I'm saying? She's used to being the man, I feel like. So, if you are a true emperor, if you're a true king, listen, the king behind a fake-ass king, she don't want no real king. She thinks she the king. You understand what I'm saying? She does not know how to run after people that she has to take care of. That's something that she has to work within herself. Because she clearly tells you that this emperor is in the reverse. It's not a real man. 
Do you understand what I'm saying? She puts him in the male's place. Or she allows him, I mean, she puts him in a female place. Or she allows him to change the roles and put him in a female role and make her boss up as the man. And she allows it. And that's the death hoovering over her. You know what I'm saying? Because she's not happy, but she keep running back to it. It's the devil. Toxic. Look, the eight of swords. Trapped. Mentally. Bound. In prison. Her and everybody else stuck up in the situation around her. Because y'all are caught up and hung up on this woman's drama. I told you this isn't a woman who breeds positivity. Very smart. But dumb as fuck. You understand what I'm saying? Because if you were that smart, you wouldn't make choices that bring everyone down around you. See, there's one that willingly stays in this situation because he's stupid. He don't mind being captured by her because even though, because you got to look at it when you're in jail, like a low vibrational motherfucker who don't want to be responsible, don't want to take care of themselves, they will go and intentionally get themselves locked up for the winter because at the end of the day, as long as they're in jail, they're not outside in the street having to fend for themselves, having to get a job. They're in prison. They got a warm place. It may not be comfortable, but they're going to get some water and some food and they can shit shower and shave. To them, it's comfort. You on the other hand, where you at over here? Over here? You, are in, you, you are in agony. This person is used to this shit. That's why I'm trying to tell y'all, like, there's difference between people that operate on a high vibration and people that don't. This person is okay because it's... <laughs> it's still putting them in a place where they don't have to fend for their self like the emperor in reverse like he don't want to take care of himself he don't mind getting locked up he's still being taken care of you are not a prisoner but you done got trapped up in this shit fucking around with this bitch and this <laughs> y'all pay attention pay attention to your body the page of wands in the reverse. So, like, y'all might not have had sex in a minute. Um, and y'all might not be, I'm getting like, you might not even be getting up. Like, because, like, this page of wands, as you can see, you see this girl looks like she's, like, graduating or something. Like, it's like you not, like, it was a gradual decline. You understand? I feel like your sex drive, your sex energy, even, like, you wanting to communicate because pages is communication. This is something that I want to say it was still new. You know what I'm saying? Like y'all could have even known each other for a while, but it kind of never took off like that. Cause you, you have to watch this woman run to the succubus and she turned into a succubus herself. Cause she's sucking you dry. You know what I'm saying? And it's like, I don't even want to have sex with this person anymore because I feel like I'm going to be locked up in tech. It's like, damn, no, you didn't say that. It's like, ooh, 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 that is disgusting. They just said, it's like, ooh, mmm. Y'all know what they playing to me? Well, they told me before they started playing the song. But they said, like, it's like when this man is having sex with her, it's almost like he can feel that other person is there, too. You know what I'm saying? Y'all know that? trifling ass is a song hit different it hit different you know what i'm saying so it's like when this person is trapped up in her walls having sex with her you know because you know entrapment he's in the walls he feel like someone else been there and it's like if i'm gonna be trapped up in these walls if i'm gonna be in prison i don't want to be in here with I'm like who the fuck is this you know what i'm saying like he don't want to be in there with her and that and with him and that might be why he's not getting aroused that may be why he's like i'm not trying to be stuck up in this bullshit but like this person may willingly want to keep going back to that shit or maybe that's what he needs for a safe refuge but i don't need to be here i do not need to be here 
I'm not learning anything from this. Like my passion is run dry. Like I, I don't even feel like you're able to stand up. Because you see these wands, they're stiff. They're standing up. They're alert. They're, you know, no. No. What's the last card, you guys? The Ace of Swords. So it's like, this is literally the truth of this whole scenario. This is the truth, like regardless if you want to acknowledge it or not. And that's what you're having the strength to pull out of the ground right now. You were in a battle amongst you and another man for this woman's affection. Regardless how you want to cut it, regardless how you want to look at it, this is what you know. You have to listen to what your body is telling you and do the healthy and the mature and the right thing for you. Because you deserve more. It's not your fault that this woman doesn't see you as the emperor. Because you are the king behind the king. You understand? This fake ass king. So you take your sword and you walk away with that knowledge. And you hold your head up high. You don't compete with you don't compare to. Period. You not going to put me behind a false ass king. And I'm doing all the work and I'm putting in all the effort. But he get all of the glory. Bitch you don't know my story. I don't got time to put up with you. Listen, I don't even want what you're giving me no more. Period. I'm good on my own. Good on my own. Again, take some more tea, the March Hare said. I've had nothing yet, so I can't take any more. You didn't even give me what I was really asking for. So I don't have to, I don't, I don't, I'm not taking anything. You didn't give me what I wanted. I recognize that it's truth now. And I'm done. I ain't about to sit here and burn up in this bullshit with y'all. Y'all can have this shit. You, you, and you all tree is yours. I'm not going in your direction no more. Sometimes their rejection is God protection. You don't want to be involved with a woman like this. Period. Sagittarius, this has been your reading. I hope that you guys heed this message. And again, don't shoot the messenger. I bust back. Boom.